session of answers tutorial today i'm going to solve question number 13 this is a series of the problems that i have been solving this problem is on steady state thermal analysis i am doing heat conduction through a composite wall let's read the problem a steel pipe with 50 mm outer diameter is covered with a 6.4 mm asbestos insulation whose k value is given as 0.166 watt per meter kelvin followed by a 25 mm layer of fiberglass insulation whose k value is given as 0.0485 watt per meter kelvin the pipe wall temperature is 393 kelvin and the outside insulation temperature is 311 kelvin calculate the interface temperature between the asbestos and fiberglass after reading the problem what i do is i first try to sketch it this helps me in evaluating the problem and also it becomes easy to understand how i have to proceed to draw the geometry because geometry is the most important part if there is a mistake in making the geometry then the analysis is not going to give you correct result so based on the problem that i read i understood that there is a steel pipe inside over which there is a layer of asbestos insulation and over that there is another insulation of fiberglass the diameter of this steel pipe is given as 50 mm so the radius is 25 i am calculating the radius r1 so that it becomes easy for me to calculate r2 and r3 otherwise when i use ansys i am going to use the value of diameter itself after that it's given that the uh, asbestos is of 6.4 mm thickness so this r2 value becomes 25 plus 6.4 which is 31.4 mm and the thickness of fiberglass insulation is given as 25 mm which is r2 plus 25 so r3 becomes 56.4 mm now if i have to calculate in terms of diameter D1 will be 50, D2 will be 62.8, and D3 will be 112.8. So I will start by drawing first D2 and D3, and then I'll draw D1. So let's get started with answers now. I'll go to steady state thermal. This is example four. This is the fourth problem in continuation of thermal numericals. I'll go to engineering data sources first. I have to create the two material. One is of asbestos insulation and the other is of fiberglass insulation. For asbestos insulation, the value of K is 0.166 watt per meter kelvin. If you check in this unit system, watt per meter kelvin is there. The value is 0.166. The other material is fiberglass insulation. I'll go to thermal conductivity. The value is zero point zero four eight five. So the two materials are created. I'll go to project, update project. Next, I'll go to geometry. Right click, new design model of geometry. units millimeter xy look at i'll go to sketching and i'll draw two circles i'll give it dimensions the outermost circle is 112.8 and the one before that is 62.8 So this is D3 and D2 that I have drawn. I'll extrude this. The depth is not important. I'll still give it 
generate I'll choose the space new plane generate I have already solved three numericals of thermal analysis in case you have not gone through them I'll mark them in the description box please go through them once you understand those numericals understanding the further numericals becomes easy in thermal analysis I'll go to sketching I'll draw two circles and give it dimensions this value will be 62.8 now I am drawing asbestos and the inner one is 50 I'll extrude apply the geometry instead of add material I choose add frozen if you see the direction has to be reversed so I change the direction and the depth is 100 generate this outer one is fiberglass insulation as you can see in the diagram outer one is fiberglass inner to it is asbestos and the innermost is the steel pipe on this face I'll mark a new plane generate look at I'll go to sketching I'll draw only one circle and give it dimension the value is 50 I'll extrude this apply add material I'll change normal to reversed generate the innermost portion is steel pipe then I have asbestos insulation and finally I have fiberglass this is my geometry now I'll go to engineering data once more I have forgotten to add one more material which was of steel I'll choose stainless steel project update next I'll go to model and double click I go to geometry solid this is the outermost solid it is of fiberglass the second solid is asbestos insulation and the innermost is of stainless steel then I'll go to mesh I'll change the sizing to fine update now if I read the problem the pipe wall temperature is 393 Kelvin and the outside insulation temperature is 311 Kelvin what I'll do is I'll suppress the two bodies first so what remains is only the pipe surface it becomes very easy for me to apply temperature right click insert temperature I'll have to change the units to Kelvin the value is 393 if you want you can convert it into degree celsius and also solve the problem that's your choice now I'll unsuppress the first two bodies I'll go to analysis settings the outside insulation has temperature 311 Kelvin then I'll go to solution I have been told to calculate the interface temperature between asbestos and fiberglass so between asbestos and fiberglass this is the ring which you see over here on which I have to calculate the temperature so I go to insert probe temperature I'll use edge option select the ring apply right click insert thermal temperature these are the extra results which I am calculating right click insert total heat flux I'll go to solution solve I'll see the temperature the value over here to the left you can see the value is 384.63 Kelvin I have checked the solution by heat transfer method 
and the answer is exactly the same. The extra things which I have calculated over here is the temperature profile over the entire body. If I want, I can select the max min as you can see over here. And using the probe option, I can just find out the temperature at any desired point. And this is the value of total heat flux over the body. So this is how the numerical is solved for hollow cylinder. This is called as a composite hollow cylinder. I hope you have understood the numerical. If you have any doubts or if you want me to solve any numerical, do let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for latest updates of my videos. I'll see you in the next session with another numerical. Thank you.